Yeah. Well, I know Ed because of when I was putting together the Teenage Cancer Trust things. So we were, we spoke about that. And what I will say about Ed is that uh, when I was doing the Teenage Cancer Trust concerts, you, you're kind of calling up artists all the time and saying, you know, we're doing this thing, can you come and help us? And a lot of um, heartless, cruel bands do that thing where they say, oh, I can't do it this year, mate, because I'm busy, you know. Uh, we've got a gig in fucking Kenya, you know. Uh, but, call, but next year, I'll definitely ring you when I get back, we'll definitely do it next year. The only person that ever said that and called me back was Ed Sheeran, who called me back the next year and said, right, I'm ready, I'll do it now. And I thought, you know what, you'll do for me, man. And um, But the thing with that was, I got into a conversation with a guy from the NME about the state of rock music and how rock bands were not selling out Wembley Stadium anymore. Inadvertently, his name got dragged into it. And, uh, yeah, but he did text me and said, uh, I think he asked, did I want to get up and do a tune with him? I said, you cheeky fucker. While I've got you on, though, can you get my daughter four tickets? And uh, so he's sorted her out. And uh, I think I may have booked him for the Teenage Cancer Trust again, actually. But um, he's a good lad, and I won't have a word said against him. 